Have you ever felt like you were meant for something greater, yet struggled with the weight of your own sensitivity and the complexity of your relationships? In the journey of a chosen one, these challenges are not just obstacles, but essential parts of the path to fulfilling your destiny. Today, we're embarking into the nuances of managing sensitivity and relationships as a chosen one to help you embrace your unique role in the world. The first step in navigating the world as a chosen one is embracing your sensitivity. Sensitivity is often misunderstood and undervalued in our society. It's seen as a weakness or a liability. But for a chosen one, sensitivity is a superpower. It's the ability to feel deeply, to connect with others on a profound level, and to perceive subtleties in the environment that others might miss. It's a source of intuition, empathy, and creativity. However, this heightened sensitivity can also be overwhelming. It can lead to overstimulation, emotional exhaustion, and a sense of isolation. That's why it's crucial to learn how to manage and protect your sensitivity. This starts with self-awareness. Pay attention to what drains you and what energizes you. Notice when you're taking on other people's emotions or when you're feeling bombarded by the world around you. Once you're aware of your sensitivity triggers, you can start to set boundaries. Boundaries are not about shutting people out, they're about protecting your energy. This might mean saying no to social engagements when you need time alone, limiting your exposure to negative news, or being selective about the people you spend time with. Self-care is another essential aspect of embracing your sensitivity. This can look different for everyone, but some practices that might be beneficial include meditation, spending time in nature, journaling, and engaging in creative activities. These practices can help you stay centered and grounded, even when the world feels overwhelming. It's also important to reframe your sensitivity as a strength. Instead of seeing it as something that makes you vulnerable, recognize that it allows you to experience life more fully. It's what enables you to form deep connections, to create art that moves people, and to intuitively sense what's needed in a situation. Lastly, seek out like-minded individuals who understand and appreciate your sensitivity. Being a chosen one can feel lonely at times, but you're not alone. There are others out there who share your experiences and can offer support and camaraderie. Together, you can navigate the challenges and joys of being highly sensitive in a world that often doesn't understand. By embracing your sensitivity, you're taking the first step toward fulfilling your potential as a chosen one. You're acknowledging that your sensitivity is not a flaw but a gift, one that allows you to navigate the world with depth, compassion and insight. Continuing with the journey of a chosen one, the cornerstone of our second step is to cultivate strong relationships. In a world that often feels disconnected, the ability to forge deep, meaningful connections is a rare and precious gift. Relationships, when nurtured with care and intention, can be a source of strength, inspiration and healing. For a chosen one, relationships are not merely social interactions, they are spiritual bonds. These connections are opportunities to grow, to learn and to share the unique insights and gifts that come with being a chosen one. However, this depth of connection also means that relationships can be intensely challenging. They can mirror our deepest insecurities and trigger our most profound fears. To cultivate strong relationships, it's essential to start with a foundation of self-love and self-respect. When you value yourself, you attract others who recognize and respect your worth. This self-regard also enables you to set healthy boundaries, which are crucial for maintaining balanced and mutually supportive relationships. Open and honest communication is another key element. Being a chosen one often means experiencing the world differently from others. Sharing your perspectives and experiences can help bridge these differences and foster a deeper understanding. It's also important to listen actively and empathetically, honoring the experiences and viewpoints of others. Empathy is a natural strength for many chosen ones, but it's important to balance this empathy with discernment. Not all relationships are meant to be deepened, and it's okay to distance yourself from connections that drain your energy or undermine your well-being. Forgiveness is a powerful tool in the realm of relationships. Holding on to grudges or resentment only weighs you down. By practicing forgiveness, you free yourself from negative emotions and open up space for more positive interactions. 
It's also important to remember that relationships are a two-way street. Just as you seek understanding and support, be sure to offer the same in return. Be there for others in their times of need, celebrate their successes, and show appreciation for their presence in your life. Finally, trust in the journey. Relationships will ebb and flow, and some may end while others begin. Each connection, whether brief or long-lasting, is a part of your spiritual growth. Embrace the lessons and love that come from each interaction, and trust that the universe is guiding you toward the relationships that are meant for you. By focusing on these principles, you can cultivate strong, meaningful relationships that support and enrich your journey as a chosen one. These connections will not only provide companionship and comfort, but will also serve as a reflection of your own inner light and love. The third step in navigating the world as a chosen one is finding the delicate balance between solitude and socialization. This balance is crucial for maintaining your spiritual equilibrium and ensuring that you can fulfill your unique purpose. Solitude is a sacred space for a chosen one. It is in the quiet moments of introspection that you can connect with your inner self and the divine. Solitude provides an opportunity to reflect on your experiences, to meditate and seek guidance, and to recharge your spiritual batteries. It's a time to listen to the whispers of your soul and to cultivate a deeper understanding of your path. However, too much solitude can lead to isolation and disconnection from the world. As a chosen one, you are meant to share your gifts and insights with others, and this requires engaging with the world around you. Socialization allows you to test your ideas, to learn from others, and to form the connections that are so essential to your journey. The key is to listen to your intuition and to honor your needs. There will be times when you feel called to retreat into your inner world, and there will be times when you feel the pull to connect with others. Trust these instincts. They are your internal guidance system, helping you navigate the ebb and flow of your energy and your engagement with the world. It's also important to be mindful of the quality of your social interactions. Seek out connections that uplift and inspire you, that resonate with your spirit, and that support your growth. Be discerning in choosing the people and environments you engage with, as they can significantly impact your energy and your ability to stay true to your path. Creating rituals and routines can help you maintain this balance. Set aside dedicated time for solitude, perhaps through a daily meditation practice or regular nature walks. Similarly, make a conscious effort to engage in social activities that align with your values and that bring you joy and fulfillment. Remember, the balance between solitude and socialization is not static. It will shift and change as you evolve and as your circumstances change. Stay flexible and open to adjusting your approach as needed. The goal is not to achieve a perfect balance, but to create a harmonious rhythm that supports your well-being and your spiritual journey. By honoring both your need for solitude and your need for connection, you can navigate the world as a chosen one with grace and wisdom. This balance allows you to cultivate inner peace while actively participating in the world, sharing your light and making a meaningful impact. The fourth aspect of navigating the world as a chosen one is gracefully navigating challenges. Life's journey is inevitably filled with obstacles, but for a chosen one, these challenges are not mere hindrances. They are opportunities for growth and transformation. Challenges test your resilience, your faith, and your commitment to your path. They push you to dig deeper into your inner reserves of strength and to call upon your spiritual guidance. It's in the face of adversity that your true character is revealed and your spiritual muscles are strengthened. Approach each challenge with a sense of purpose. Remind yourself that you are a chosen one, destined for a path that is greater than the immediate obstacle in front of you. This perspective can help you rise above the situation and view it from a higher vantage point where solutions and insights are more readily accessible. Cultivate a mindset of resilience. Resilience is not about avoiding challenges or pretending they don't affect you. It's about acknowledging the difficulty, feeling the emotions that arise, and then choosing to move forward with courage and determination. It's about learning from each experience and using that knowledge to navigate future challenges more effectively. Stay connected to your spiritual practice during challenging times. Whether it's meditation, prayer, or spending time in nature, 
These practices can provide comfort, clarity, and a sense of peace. They can remind you of your connection to something greater and help you tap into a wellspring of inner strength. Seek the lessons hidden within each challenge. Every obstacle carries a seed of growth and learning. Ask yourself what this experience is teaching you. Is it patience, humility, compassion, or perhaps a deeper understanding of your own strength? Embracing the lessons of each challenge accelerates your spiritual growth and brings you closer to fulfilling your purpose as a chosen one. Remember that you are not alone in facing these challenges. Call upon your spiritual guides, your mentors, and your supportive community for guidance and encouragement. Their wisdom and support can provide a beacon of light in the midst of the storm. Finally, practice gratitude even in the face of adversity. Gratitude shifts your focus from what is lacking to what is abundant in your life. It opens your heart and allows you to receive the blessings and support that are available to you even in the toughest times. By navigating challenges with grace, resilience, and a deep sense of purpose, you not only overcome the obstacles in your path, but also emerge stronger, wiser, and more aligned with your spiritual mission. The fifth step for a chosen one is the development of your unique gifts. Each chosen one is endowed with a set of talents and abilities that are not only rare but also essential for the fulfillment of their divine purpose. These gifts are like seeds that have been planted within you, waiting to be nurtured and brought to fruition. Your gifts might manifest as artistic talents, healing abilities, visionary insights, or leadership skills, among others. The first step in developing these gifts is to recognize and acknowledge them, spend time in reflection and meditation, asking for clarity on what your unique gifts are. Pay attention to the activities that bring you joy and fulfillment, as these are often clues to your inherent talents. Once you have identified your gifts, commit to honing and refining them. This might involve taking classes, seeking mentorship, or simply dedicating time each day to practice and experimentation. Remember that the development of your gifts is a journey, not a destination. Be patient with yourself and trust in the timing of your growth. As you develop your gifts, it's important to stay grounded in your spiritual practice. This connection to the divine will provide guidance and inspiration, ensuring that your talents are aligned with your higher purpose. It will also protect you from the ego traps of comparison and competition, reminding you that your gifts are unique to you and are not meant to be measured against those of others. Sharing your gifts with the world is an integral part of your journey as a chosen one. Your talents are not meant to be hidden or hoarded, but to be offered in service to others. Look for opportunities to share your gifts, whether that's through teaching, creating, healing or leading. Trust that as you give of yourself, you will receive in return, in ways that support your continued growth and development. Be open to the evolution of your gifts. As you grow and evolve, your talents may shift and change. Embrace this as a natural part of your spiritual journey and be willing to let go of old forms to make way for new expressions of your gifts. Lastly, celebrate your progress and achievements. Acknowledge the hard work and dedication that goes into developing your talents and take pride in the unique contributions you are making to the world. By focusing on the development of your unique gifts, you are not only enriching your own life but also bringing light and healing to those around you. Your talents are a key part of your spiritual mission and by embracing and sharing them, you are stepping fully into your role as a chosen one. Continuing with the journey of a chosen one, the sixth step is staying grounded in your purpose. As a chosen one, you have been called to a path that is unique and significant. Your purpose is the compass that guides your actions and decisions, leading you toward the fulfillment of your spiritual mission. To stay grounded in your purpose, it's essential to cultivate a deep sense of self-awareness. Regularly take time to reflect on your values, your goals, and the impact you wish to have in the world. This introspection helps you stay aligned with your true self and ensures that your actions are in harmony with your soul's calling. Creating a personal mission statement can be a powerful tool in staying focused on your purpose. This statement should encapsulate the essence of your spiritual mission and serve as a reminder of why you are on this path. Refer to it often, especially during times of doubt or confusion, 
to recenter yourself and regain clarity. Staying grounded also involves being mindful of the present moment. While it's important to have a vision for the future, your purpose is lived out in the here and now. Embrace each day as an opportunity to express your divine calling through your thoughts, words and actions. It's also crucial to remain adaptable. Your understanding of your purpose may evolve as you grow and gain new experiences. Be open to this evolution and willing to adjust your course as needed. Trust that the universe is guiding you and that each twist and turn is a part of your spiritual journey. Surrounding yourself with supportive people who share your vision and values can help you stay grounded. These individuals can provide encouragement, offer guidance, and remind you of your purpose when you lose sight of it. Cultivate a community of like-minded souls who uplift and inspire you. Lastly, practice gratitude for the opportunity to live out your purpose. Recognize the beauty and privilege of being chosen for a unique spiritual mission. This gratitude will keep you humble, grounded, and connected to the source of your calling. By staying grounded in your purpose, you ensure that your journey as a chosen one is not only meaningful but also fulfilling. Your purpose is the anchor that keeps you steady amidst the storms of life, guiding you toward your ultimate destiny. The seventh and final step in navigating the world as a chosen one is building a supportive community. As a spiritual traveler, your journey is both personal and interconnected. The community you cultivate around you acts as a reflection of your inner world, offering support, inspiration, and a sense of belonging. Creating a supportive community begins with intention. Seek out individuals who resonate with your values and vision. These are the people who understand the depth of your journey and offer a safe space for you to express your true self. They are the ones who celebrate your victories, stand by you during challenges, and remind you of your purpose when you falter. In building this community, it's important to foster an environment of mutual respect and open communication, encourage a culture where each member feels valued and heard. This kind of environment nurtures growth and deepens the bonds between you and your community members. Your community should also be a source of diverse perspectives and wisdom. Surround yourself with people from various backgrounds and experiences who can offer different insights and broaden your understanding. This diversity enriches your spiritual journey, providing you with a more holistic view of the world and your place in it. Remember that building a supportive community is not just about receiving support, it's also about giving back. Offer your own insights, lend a listening ear, and be there for others in their times of need. The strength of your community lies in the reciprocity of support and the shared commitment to each other's growth. As you nurture your community, be mindful of the energy you bring and the energy you allow in. Cultivate an atmosphere of positivity, encouragement and love. This energy will not only uplift you, but will also create a ripple effect, touching the lives of those around you and beyond. Finally, celebrate the beauty and uniqueness of your community. Honor the connections you've made and the collective journey you're on. These relationships are a testament to the power of unity and the magic that happens when like-minded souls come together. Building a supportive community is a vital step in your journey as a chosen one. It provides a foundation of love and support, amplifying your light and enabling you to make a greater impact in the world. Remember, you are not meant to walk this path alone. Your community is your tribe, your family, and your home on this spiritual journey. Conclusion. As we conclude our exploration of navigating the world as a chosen one, it is essential to reflect on the journey we have embarked upon. Each step, from embracing your sensitivity to building a supportive community, is a testament to the profound spiritual journey that lies at the heart of being a chosen one. The path of a chosen one is not merely a series of steps to be followed, it is a living, breathing journey that unfolds with each moment. It is a dance between the divine and the human, between the eternal and the temporal. As you walk this path, you are not just moving through the world, you are weaving a tapestry of light, love and transformation that touches the lives of all you encounter. Your journey is a sacred pilgrimage, a quest for truth and enlightenment that transcends the mundane. It is a call to awaken to your true nature, 
to the divine spark that resides within you. This awakening is not just for your benefit, it is a gift to the world, a beacon of hope and inspiration in times of darkness. As you navigate the challenges and triumphs of your journey, remember that you are guided by a higher power. Trust in the wisdom of the universe and know that you are supported by forces seen and unseen. Your path is divinely orchestrated and each step is an opportunity to align more deeply with your spiritual mission. The journey of a chosen one is a journey of love. It is a journey of learning to love yourself with all your strengths and vulnerabilities and extending that love to others. It is about recognizing the interconnectedness of all life and honoring the sacredness of each being. Your capacity for love is your greatest strength and it is the key to unlocking the full potential of your divine purpose. Embrace the journey with an open heart and a spirit of adventure. Be willing to explore the unknown, to venture into the depths of your soul and to discover the treasures that lie within. Each step is an opportunity for growth, for healing and for expanding your consciousness. As you move forward, carry with you the lessons and insights you have gained. Let them be your guiding light, illuminating your path and leading you ever closer to your divine destiny. And as you walk this path, know that you are not alone. You are part of a global community of chosen ones, each contributing their unique light to the tapestry of the collective spiritual awakening. In conclusion, the journey of a chosen one is a profound and sacred adventure. It is a journey of self-discovery, of spiritual growth and of bringing your unique gifts to the world. Embrace each step with courage and faith and trust that you are exactly where you are meant to be. Your journey is a blessing to the world and your light is needed now more than ever. May you walk your path with grace, with strength and with the knowledge that you are a cherished and vital part of the divine tapestry of existence. And remember, in the words of the great poet Rumi, you are not a drop in the ocean, you are the entire ocean in a drop.